Eric Lamaze, Canada. When you see somebody doing so well in the show ring, you believe what they say. Show jumper Karina Frederick's family has had a long history with Eric Lamaze, eventually making a massive investment to buy horses from the man who became a celebrated Olympian. It took 10 years for us to figure out that Peppercorn actually had had a surgery done in Europe on one of her legs where they took, they cut the nerves in her leg. Her family stable sued Lamaze, alleging he misrepresented two horses, including one that was lame. Lamaze denied wrongdoing and sought to adjourn, arguing his treatment for terminal cancer prevented him attending court. He faced many other civil lawsuits. And Lamaze had already been sued in Ontario. He was also sued in Texas, and he faced more than a dozen lawsuits in Florida. Now, some were settled, others dismissed on jurisdictional grounds or because court staff couldn't find him. And when he did respond, he denied wrongdoing. But by February 2022, judges ruled against him for fraud, contract breaches, and for unpaid taxes and fees. And Lamaze had been ordered to pay more than $2 million. February 2022 is also when Equestrian Canada, the sports governing body, named Lamaze to a leadership position. Some cases were also dismissed voluntarily with prejudice or through case management. He became technical advisor and led the national team to several top 10 international finishes. A year later, they announced he wasn't returning, citing his brain cancer. Emails submitted to court from 2019 show his then lawyer argued Lamaze couldn't appear because he is fighting for his life against an aggressive brain tumor. But footage appears to show Lamaze competing then. His lawyer then submitted letters from a cancer clinic in Belgium as proof he was sick. Fredericks hired a private investigator. The investigator indeed went to the hospital where these physicians who supposedly prepared these reports uh, confirmed they were frauds. In a ruling, the judge wrote, I cannot find any of the evidence that Mr. Lamaze relies upon to be either credible or reliable. Lamaze's lawyer withdrew, saying, I had unknowingly made representations to the court based on representations made to me by Mr. Lamaze, which I believe to be truthful, but apparently were not. When the new, this news came out, there was a second wave of grief of people grieving for the death of the idea of the man they thought they'd known. Equestrian Canada says it does not research an athlete's or staff member's personal life, non-sport related business dealings or horse sales. Global News contacted Lamaze. He said some of the lawsuits mentioned are inaccurate, though he did not explain and had no further comment. Lamaze told the Toronto Star he had cancer and the letters were submitted by mistake. On August 8th, 15 years after the lawsuit began, a judge awarded Fredericks a default judgment in her favor. Lamaze did not put forward a defense. It's important that people know the truth and don't be blinded by accolades and the allure that comes with that. Nathaniel Dove, Global News, Toronto.